This is question 22, paper 1, June 2011. We're told that some students went out for a meal. Some ordered fried chicken, some a burger, and some a pizza. And we're given some fractions here. We're told that of all these students, two-sevenths ordered the fried chicken meal, 60% of the students ordered a burger meal, we'd ask to work out what fraction of the students ordered a pizza. Well, really, this is a sort of fractions question, because even though they've given you this um, as 60% of the students ordered a burger meal, 60% is really another type of fraction, isn't it? It's 60 over 100. Now, the thing you must realize here is that Three things are ordered, fried chicken, a burger, and pizza. And this represents all the students, the whole group of students. And what I've done here is I've written down the meals, fried chicken, burger, and pizza. And I've put underneath each the fraction that each student, uh, each of the students uh, chose. So two sevenths of the students, of the group of students, chose fried chicken. Sixty percent chose a burger. We don't know what fraction of the students chose a pizza, but these three fractions, two sevenths, sixty percent, and this fraction, they must all add up to the one whole group of students. Okay? so that we change this 60% into 60 over 100. And what I've done here is I've canceled this down into its simplest form, because I don't want big numbers to deal with. I've said 20 into 60 goes three times, and 20 goes into 100 five times. Now you can see that we've got the following much easier calculation to do. We've got two-sevenths of the students chose chicken, fried chicken. Three-fifths of the students, the 60%, chose a burger. Another fraction, which we have to work out, chose a pizza. But these three fractions must add up to one whole, the, the, the whole group of students. Okay? So, what we've got to do now is to add together the two-sevenths and the three-fifths. Well, again, you need to know how to add fractions. And the way I've done it is this. I've multiplied 5 and 7 together to give 35. Then I do 5 times 2 which is there, or 2 times 5, same thing. This add sign I brought down here, and now I do 7 times 3. And there it is, 3 times 7, 7 times 3. That's how you add fractions that have different denominators. You do not add those denominators together, because these are different fractions. This, these are fifths, these are sevenths, and you cannot add them unless they've got the same denominator. And the way you do that is you multiply 7 and 5 together on the d bottom like that. Then you bring down this add sign to there. Then you do 5 times 2, 2 times 5, same thing, and put it there. And then you do 7 times 3, or 3 times 7, and you put it there. Now, you've got 10. 5 times 2 is 10. 3 times 7 is 21. There's the 10, there's the 21. And when you add them together, you get 31 over 35. Okay? Now, look what this now means, how this reads. It means 31 35ths of the students chose fried chicken and a burger altogether. So, if we now take this fraction over the equal sign and change it to minus 31 over 35. We're taking it away from 1, in other words. 
we will get the fraction left of students that chose the pizza meal. So there it is there. This is the fraction of students that chose a pizza meal. This is the one whole body of students. And we're taking away from that the total fraction of students that chose the chicken and the burger meal. Okay? Now I've changed the one whole into 35 thirty-fifths. Okay? That is still this one whole. And I'm taking away I'm changing it into 30 fifths because of this fraction here. This is in 30 fifths. So I want my one whole also to be in 30 fifths, which is why I've written 35 30 fifths here. So now, because they have the both have the same denominators, I can now just take away this 31 from the 35 there to get 4 30 fifths. In other words, 4 30 fifths is the fraction of students that chose the pizza meal. Okay? And that is your answer there. Okay, thank you very much.